Value Options Center. It is 429 Thursday. Up right early in the morning. Thanks for joining us here. Before we get into any of this action, please go down to that bottom right hand corner, hit that Options Center logo and subscribe. Also, we have a great um, uh, Discord. It's called The Option Guys. We uh, go bounce off trade ideas over in there and have a good time and answer questions. And uh, yeah, so join us. It's free. <laughs> All right, here we go. We're going to go through um, the market. I left my watch list over here. We're going to go through the market just to see the breath. It looks like everything's correlated at this time. And um, then we'll go through some of the, the old school fang names, big techs. All right. So on the multiple time frame, we have ES on the monthly pushing huge candle. Everything's looking bullish. We're, we're getting a little overheated. We have a little bit of diversion. So we just got to be careful up here. That's the long run. Let's get down to a little bit lower. On the weekly, we're pushing on wave five. Five just keeps on going. Look at that. That's beautiful. Um, also, bullish, bullish, bullish. We're um, getting a little overheated. We have some divergence there in RSI as well. So just a little bit of caution on multiple time frames there. Um, but on the daily, we're not quite there yet. Um, we are just a little bit under, but we're starting to form a little bit of divergence. We have wave one, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> this three could end any time now. So we're going to watch that for a deeper wave four pullback sometime soon. Um, on the 65 minute. Now, we had Fed Day. Shenanigans happened. We formed a triangle, broke out from it. Kind of this channel going here and it looks like we're getting out of it if we can push just a little bit higher today and maybe retest it that would be an uh ideal situation for the bulls otherwise if we um we we may start to pull back just to retest that breakout area and to move on there and, and the reason why i say that is because we have this ending diagonal what i believe one two and then we're working on wave three right now and we'll see if we need it to uh pull back on a wave four before moving on all right, um, let's go over to NQ. <laughs> we had uh, we had Apple and Facebook, which we'll take a look at those. Not enough to get us back in this channel. Those guys are pushing and pushing hard, but uh, we we're stalling at this um, fourteen thousand area. So we need to get back over that before we can think about even getting higher there. Um, this looks like a one, two, three, also ending diagonal four and pushing on wave five. Maybe this is a new wave one. We pull down to wave two and then move higher to finish a five wave um, and to also finish this uh, wave three. Okay. Small caps. We do have rates. We'll check that out. Rates are falling. So the small caps did break out from this um, from this strong resistance. And so if we can get above this, maybe we'll retest that. Stay above this resistance and move higher. So it looks like uh, I mean, that's a that's a big move. This thing's wild right now, you guys. I don't know if we're going to hit all time highs, but this might be a huge one to there's a bearish count on this too so we just got to be careful let's watch day to day hit that notification button if you want to um keep getting these videos each and every day and also on the weekend all right let's go let's see gold gold starting to move from the speech yesterday but it's just not it doesn't look like it's it's back testing right now if this holds we're, it looks like we're going to hit uh, 1800 sometime soon, but not looking so good in pre-market. If this uh, breaks down, that's going to be a fail. It's going to be a different idea. This might be an A, B, C move down before moving higher. And then there's some uh, bearish. There's there's bearish uh, counts on this. This might be a big old A, B, C, and then much lower from here. Oh, yeah, we're breaking down as we speak. So gold not looking too, too hot. Get down Bitcoin. Bitcoin, I do 
believe we have a five count here that that might be wave one and then we might have to come down to wave two Let's see if i put that on there yeah so we might have to come down back to uh 51,000, a little under for the golden ratio here that would be a typical wave two pullback one two and then we start moving higher or this is the bearish count is one um all right a b c silver holding in there the bonds the bonds finally what we were talking about is this a bear flag well they're kind of showing their cards right now moving down we had great earnings um but these bonds might hamper those uh those moves so we'll have to watch what happens big cap can hold this up at uh you know you know for uh, it can hold it up but it's not going to quite drag everything up with it uh fortunately with the bonds um retreating we may have uh the the uh, financials they've already moved big though we might have the financials helping us out in small caps okay and really quick facebook after hours <laughs> just <laughs> huge move huge move facebook not much to say i don't know what kind of follow through you can get with that but we'll see uh apple went up to its expected move looks like we have our five-way move in here so we just got to be careful if any if these things start to turn around we're a correlated market it can um cause the order flow to all turn around and we might have a big start <laughs> move uh to the downside one two three four five we also have five-way move in amazon um wow you guys it uh it looks really good but not good the count we might have to pull back really soon here and then uh looks like microsoft already made its pullback it might be an abc and we'll, we'll check out microsoft see if we can get off this uh expected move and then tesla I, i'm bearish on tesla but this might be a um we might have a chance for a relief bounce from the breakout area from this triangle and then continue to the downside so we'll be monitoring those uh videos get cut along seven minutes we will end it here thank you for joining us good luck trading today join us in the discord and we'll talk about some trade ideas thanks for joining us